G'day, my name's Pete and uh, today I'm going to be working on this jade tree. Um, this tree has been sitting in the backyard for 20 years as well. Um, my majority of my trees have been up there for that long. Trees older than that because it was already, you know, growing before it went up there. But uh, anyway, I'm uh, going to turn this into two trees. I'm going to cut it through here, turn this into a tree, and I'm going to repot this today. This other section uh, I'm going to have as a twin trunk, and I'll cut that through here and turn them into a tree. So that's the plan. Right, so I'm going to cut it here first. And give me my two sections. Okay, there, there you go, there's, uh, there's the one tree, and I'll, I'll repot this one, <coughs> excuse me, I'll repot this one, now, and the other one, I'm going to cut through here, give it a flat base, and uh, then we'll turn this one into something Hopefully, about there, try and give it a flat base anyway, you know. chunk I've taken off, show the size of the uh, the trunk of this tree. Now I'll just pause while I set everything up. Okay, now so this is the tree, it's a nice little tree. I'm going to now rake the soil away from the roots. I don't know if I've got a CD in this one or not. We'll find out. We've got a massive root growing here, which is uh, going to get trimmed down. That's huge. Yep, there we go. Look, here we go. There's my CD, and I thought so because of the way I'm as I'm working on it, I'm finding that it's nice and open on the base of the tree here, and uh, so I was thinking, oh, I must have a CD in here. There you go. There's a couple more pieces, but it really does help with making the base of the tree flatter. There's more bits. <laughs> I keep getting them out. That's good. I like it. Yeah. 
more in there yet. Can you hear it? Break it out bit by bit. I am going to trim this root down. This is a really nice root coming from the base of the tree here and it's going straight down and that's really nice but it's, it's too big now so we're just going to cut it down here so it's growing down look at that it's huge it's beautiful there's another bit of CD um, yeah, yeah see the roots will grow from there spread out and go down into the pot um, this one here is another huge root comes around here which is also another nice root for the base of the tree we'll do the same thing we'll cut it up here I might need bigger cutters that's a huge huge so I'm going to cut that one through there weather today is um, really nice, quite warm, um, 20, it's going to be 28 degrees Celsius today, at the moment I think it's about 25, just trim away some of these. trying to get my flat pace all right there's another bit of seed oh no that's not cd here it is it all out now best I can don't need it in there anymore it's done its job give me a nice flat base and there we go I can't see any more CD in there so that's it that's good now that's that's ready for going into it's pot now I've, I've picked me pot for this tree it's going to go into this pot here um, I'll just bring the camera down a bit so you can see the pot if you're interested it's a nice pot that's going to go in there it's a little a little low at the moment I'll have to put some more soil in um, you can see how I bury my trees deep and uh, you can see the the amount of um, depth I've put it in a couple of inches there it's help, just help help support it as well but uh, look at that. I mean, it's awesome it smells nice too I love the smell Okay, so I need to uh, put some more soil into there first. I'll sit that tree down there.
maybe a little bit deeper in the pot than I would like, but um, you know, just just to this this tree has been suffering, <laughs> suffering up the back for 20, 20 years, so it can do with a nice fresh soil and and in a bit deeper than I would probably like, just to give it a, give it an open end. Okay, that's going to do that. Oh, now I can just fill her up with soil. Okay, that's the potting done. Now I need to trim some of these branches off. Now, there's one branch that's going to go, and that's this one here. This one here is ugly. It's growing up. It's inside the... It's, in, it's inside, it's growing up, it's ugly. So that one's going all together. Not even big enough cutters. I want a close cut. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Couple of couple of little nodules here that I just want to trim down. That one there is probably ugly. Not in the right spot, but it's got a bit of green growth on it. So I'm going to leave it just, just for the tree's benefit for the time being. Trim these little bits here back. And we'll see what develops on this tree now for uh, designing it. Let's see another. another one there that could go. Oh. So there you go, that's that's this tree. It's now ready to sit. Sit for a week. Okay, now I'm working on the top of that plant and I've got this concoction of bits and I'm I'm gonna trim back a lot of all this growth just so I can manhandle this easier and see what what I've actually got. So without going 
we don't want to go too far into the tree or the possibilities of the tree so I'm just going to cut outside the the zone so to speak there's you know probably not going to be in the design whatsoever and then we'll go from there once I've got a bit of control of this plant Okay, so um, trim down a bit. Now, I, I'm really liking the fact that there's these two branches growing almost the same. It's like a twin trunk that are twins, you know, the way they've shaped. And I like that. I think that's really cool. So I want to keep that as part of the tree. Now, I'm just looking at it, trying to decide what's, what's to stay and what's to go. Now, I'm looking, what I'm looking at at the moment is the thickest looking trunk. And this one here looks like the thickest trunk of this tree. This one. So that one's got to be my tallest one. And then this, well, this one will be a little bit shorter than that. Or, or is meant to be. But I don't know how short I'm going to be able to get it. But we'll see. Um... I like this part over this part so I think I'll cut it through here and have this as this particular tree so I'll do that now down the bottom they can go they're not going to be any good they're all too low anyway that branch there can come off and I'll keep that one and then one of these two I'll keep but 
that when they scout. I'm not sure which one to keep. I'm going to shrink them right back. For now. And I'll decide later. This, this branch down here is, is no good. It's growing across the two, so that one can go. All of these are all too long and, and some of them may need to go. Same with these. I think this one here is growing up since I've got this as the the main part of the tree I'll cut this off and keep this one I think that will look nice Still too long. Okay, now now we're getting cleaner. Like freaking antlers. <laughs> Set of antlers. Um, anyway, that's looking much better. I think I'll, I'll leave it now. I'll, I'll go wait until the cut on the base dries out for a week and then I'll. I'll pop this um, and I may trim up more I'll keep looking at it over the next week or so and see you know think about the design I've got and whether whether this is good or that's not but uh, there you go so basically that's it for me for today I hope you enjoyed um, I know I did anyway I'll catch you all later See you later.